Hello everyone. In this video, we learn how to import, visualize, and partition large molecular data sets using their given molecular properties. In the previous video, we learned uh, how to analyze molecular structures one at a time, meaning that you draw a structure using its smile as a string. We also learned how to visually inspect molecules and notice similarities and differences among them. In this video, we learn how to automate the process of handling large data sets. Imagine having a database containing thousands or even millions of small molecules. We'll demonstrate how to use MATLAB to efficiently load such a database, perform complex searches, and instantly visualize any molecule in it. You will learn how to draw any molecule in the data sets using its row number and partition the database into sub-databases using their given values for water solubility log S and lipophilicity log P. Please watch our previous video for the details of setting up your software environment. This starts by getting a copy of MATLAB from mathworks.com. Once you have MATLAB, ensure your Python version is compatible by checking MathWorks website. I am using Python 3.11 for this example. Visit the Python website to download and install the appropriate version. After that, you need to install RD Kit, which is a chemoformatic package. Simply copy this pip install command and run it in your command prompt to install it. Remember that you need to give the Python installation path to MATLAB. This enables MATLAB to interface with Python, allowing us to call Python functions and utilize our Kit libraries directly from within MATLAB. With these steps completed, you are all set to run this example. For this example, we will use the database provided in this paper. Please download the database from the link available towards the end of this paper. This database contains 9,943 molecules along with their corresponding water solubility and lipophilicity values. These parameters are crucial in molecular design and drug discovery, as they significantly impact the compounds' pharmacokinetics and bioavailability. By understanding and optimizing these properties, one can enhance the drug's therapeutic functions through improved absorption, distribution, and interaction with biological targets. The code for this example is available on the GitHub page linked in the description. It is organized in MATLAB LiveScript format with all steps clearly explained. Now this example starts by loading the database into MATLAB. You can use the read, uh, read table function for this purpose. It creates a table by reading column-oriented data from the CSV file. To access the data in the table, you simply specify the column headers. This way you can simply draw any molecule by specifying its row number in the data set. Notice how you are using a custom-built MATLAB function called rdkit-draw for this purpose. As an exercise, open rdkit-draw and observe how it closely resembles the code that we practiced uh, in the previous videos. You can also modify today's example code to randomly select and draw 10 molecules from the dataset instead of from just one row. Now, can you identify any similarities uh, among the selected molecules? Next in this example, we'll see uh, how the molecules in this database are distributed based on their log S, log P values. This is done by making this custom MATLAB function called log P log S partition dot M. If you open this function, you can see that all it is doing is reading the log P and log S values, normalizing them and simply using this logical table for partitioning. The code plots this nice distribution and gives the number of molecules in each partition. Interestingly, you can see that most of the molecules in this data set has higher um, water solubility with low lipophilicity. This example saves molecules in each partition in a separate CSV file. As an exercise, I want you to use read table function to load each of the four sub data sets. Visualize 10 uh, sample molecules from each one and inspect similarities among them. 
Do you think there is any correlation between the similarities in molecular structures and their corresponding log P and log S values? Now, so far, we have been referring quant qualitatively to molecular similarity. In our next video, I'll show you how to quantify molecular structure similarities. We'll also analyze molecular similarity within each of these sub-databases that we built today. We'll also do pairwise similarity comparison between the four uh, sub-data sets. Now, thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.